So in today's video, we are going to be looking at the Bitax LAN mod. So this is a internet connectivity mod that you can do to your Bitax Gamma, or you can do it to any Bitax which has these pins at the top, including the nerd QXs as well. This actually allows you to have a LAN connection or an ethernet connection to your router. And that means you don't have to worry about the Wi-Fi connectivity of your BitAx anymore and to stop rejected shares on your BitAx or your Node QX. So with the BitAx, it runs off of these six pins. With the Node QX, it actually runs off of the pins that are down in here that actually connect to the Wi-Fi as well. So you can actually go through these and take off your LCD and kind of insert something into it, but we'll look into it as we go through the video. Currently, there is an upgrade available for the Node QX and the BitAx Gamma, but I hope to see more upgrades coming in the future for a range of miners that are out there. These are obviously the most popular ones, so people would want them right now. But let's head over to the computer and look at the BitAx LAN upgrade. So this LAN upgrade comes from a person on X. They also have a Discord called Mono Labs VC. I'm assuming that's not how you actually pronounce it, but that's what it just shows up on X. And they do a lot of things. So this is the creator of the solar bit. If we look in here, you can see solar bit, and then they have DIY kits and other projects that they're also working on. But right here, you can see the two other project, which is the NerdQX LAN and the BitAx LAN. So as you saw at the start of the video, you do need that little bit to actually make this LAN upgrade, so the six pins. I believe that you can do it on anything that does have these six pins as well. The earlier versions of the BitAxes, like the BitAx Ultra, BitAx Super, BitAx Max, they don't actually have those six pins at the top, but I'm pretty sure that everything else even including the Node QX, BitAx Hex, and the Gamma Turbo that we have, does have those six pins at the top that you could, in theory, use for a LAN upgrade. We also don't have our hands on this, but we are looking to get one and do it for maybe the Node QXs, maybe the BitAxes, we'll decide later on. But this is just a showcase video, show you how to get it and what it actually looks like. Also, this was the creator in, I think it's in tandem with so go and then be triple R, the Emerge Axe as well. So this was the Immersion Cooling Axe that we first looked at. Maybe, I think it was around a year ago that we actually saw this pop up and we made a video on it at the time. But since they've created a lot of other stuff as well. So if you do want to get one of these, I don't know if YouTube will let me link it, but I'll try to leave a link down in the description for the website. And it's just the first thing that pops up. So you have the Node QX LAN adapter, or you have the BitAx LAN adapter that you see there. Each of them are for 21 euros. I don't know what the conversion is, but you can see pictures of it here. But we'll show you some other pictures and videos later on in the video. And this came into fruition very quickly, I believe, in terms of actually building it out to be a fully fleshed product. There was a couple of revisions of it that we saw and then you have the Nerd QX edition. So they're both the same price, just for different miners, whichever one you want to use. Now, a lot of people might be asking why this is important or why you'd want to get one. Mainly, it's going to be the connection to the pool. So when you're using a BitAx miner, they all run off of the Wi-Fi and pretty much all of the other solo miners do as well. The large Bitmain ones actually use a LAN port but for BitAx miners, it's going straight off the Wi-Fi. So you have to factor in two connections, one to your Wi-Fi router, and then from your router to the actual pool that you're mining to. Obviously, if you have your own node, it doesn't really matter too much. But if you are using an external pool, then it does matter quite a lot. So if you can eliminate some of the connectivity problems just to your router, then you can get better shares and less rejected on your BitAx or node QXs. As I said, I'll leave a link in the description. They have a bunch of other stuff as well, like the solar bit, and they're actually selling Nerd QXs, bit axes. I'm trying to see if they have the Emerge Axe still available. I don't think that it is, but there's a bunch of other cool stuff, so you can check it all out in the description below. And this is what it looks like. So you have a little bit of an extension on the top. 
I think this is a earlier revised model, but it goes through the little LCD that you have on your original Nerd UX, and it just passes through those pins and then connects into the Wi-Fi by there. It's because the actual Wi-Fi module is underneath or sitting underneath here in terms of the pins, but for the bit axis, it's sitting just above the LCD, I believe. Then you have another version of it. So it mainly sits on the pins for the LCD. It's gonna be looking like that. And then you have this nice ribbon, and then that's your ethernet port by there. And then we'll watch this video. So this is a video talking about it, where you have the LAN model by there. It's a simple two-step process, I guess. Just clip in, and then it goes in on top of where your LCD would go. So this is just clipped into there, and that's basically gonna control it. You clip it into where your LCD would go, by there. As you can see, just showing it how it works. And then you clip in the ribbon cable and that connects to the ethernet out port by there. Then you connect your ethernet and hopefully it should work. And then you plug it in and it should work there. Obviously the lights on that. And it should show you your ping in your LCD there, and if you're actually using the ethernet or not. So that was the Nerd QX version, so that I don't know how much they have in stock, but it looks like they have maybe 50 to 100 overall. So these are all the BitX ones, and then these are all the Nerd QX ones. As I said, it could be done for other things like the BitX Hex, or even the Zyber 8 and the Gamma Turbo that we have. So I might be sending one off to them to get that actually done and they can tinker around with the Gamma Turbo, maybe make a prototype for that as well. So when it releases, you guys can get it as well. So they've printed out a bunch of them. I don't know how long they're gonna be on sale for, but I'm assuming after I make this video, a lot of people are gonna want a LAN upgrade for their Bitax Miner or their Nerd QX Miner. And this is what it looks like on the Bitax. So simple design where you just clip it through screws and then it clips into there clips back into the ethernet port by there. I think this is a really good design in terms of you're keeping the same design as a bit X with this little PCB here, and then it just links into an ethernet cable by there. And this is what the bit X one will actually come with. So just this little PCB, then the pin connector. So these six are gonna feed through into here, and then the bottom are gonna feed through into your actual bit X. So you don't have to do any soldering technically and then you just screw it down with these and clip both of these into it. As I said, we'll try to get our hands on one and show you how to actually upgrade it. This is just making you guys aware that it is out there if you wanna buy one. So I believe that this also comes with a custom XOS, which allows you to switch between the Wi-Fi configuration and then the ethernet configuration by there. And I think this is included in the GitHub somewhere. If we keep going down, there's a bunch of other things. As I said, they do make a lot of the products that you can go buy on the website. And I think that's it in terms of, this is just them showing the XOS and then the Solarbit product right there. So I'll leave a link to the Discord as well, which has a bunch of other stuff in there, a lot of help guides. You can see the model by here, the video that you just saw, all of these printed out, so ready to go and all of them actually printed out. So they had to take it off of the PCB by there. And you can see the Axe OS by here. So I think it's a custom one that just says the OS number and then LAN at the end. This is for the bit Axe. The one that you just saw was for the Nerd Q Axe. And there's loads of people in the Discord which help out with the LAN upgrade if you wanna get your own. Then you have the Nerd Q Axe LAN, same sort of thing with just pictures in here. This is a better picture of what it kind of looks like. So it clips in through the LCD into the back way here and creates that LAN port for you. As I said, I don't know how much they have printed off, but right here it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times by five. That's around 40 by there. I'm sure they printed off a little bit more for the bit axes, but I think they're gonna be in very low supply going forward into the future. As a lot of people, want one of these for their miners. I think it's a very easy setup as well from the first revision. 
that we originally saw, which was something like this on just a basic PCB board, and then that gone through into the LAN by there, or kind of like looking like this. So a quick amount of time, and this was only made probably around a month ago is when it first fully released on the GitHub at least. So you can get everything you want from the GitHub. You can make your own ones if you want, open sourced. I'll leave a link to the GitHub as well in the description if you guys wanna take a look at that as well. And I'll leave a link to both this X account and the GoBur X account, which is this one by here. So a lot of products that you can actually get as well from their website. I just thought it'd be good just to cover it off. LAN models are gonna help you with the connectivity to your internet, so you get less rejected shares from your pool. It's probably best for people that have bad connections to the pool or they have a lot of space between their Wi-Fi router and their actual BitAxes or solo Bitcoin miners. Because the main thing that you're probably gonna run into is connectivity issues between the router and your miner, probably not the pool and your miner as there's a lot of pools out there that are very close that will give you good latency figures for solo Bitcoin mining. So as I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments about what you think about this. If you're going to get one, I'll leave everything linked in the description. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this.